They are handsome as movie stars. Handpicked, only the very best were selected. Oh, what if the shuttle left without them? They might well be more in their element on Earth than in the sky. Human guinea pigs who are groomed and then returned exhausted. They are being prepared to leave one day for the planet Mars. And yet, we've already been to Mars. Probes and robots gather all the scientific data needed to understand the planet. But man has always put himself center stage, stealing the limelight from the place itself. Omnipresent man, master of the universe, conqueror of infinity. But what if man's space flight was only fiction? The Americans brought back 800 pounds of rock from the moon. The Russians, who never set foot there, took a few ounces thanks to their robots, enough for scientific study. Manned lunar missions were abandoned three years after they started in 1972. But we continue to dream, and that, of course, is priceless. The Cold War is nothing more than an old memory, but conquering space and new frontiers in the skies above us still hold such promise. But for what? A telescope Hubble was put into orbit and needs regular repairs, while all space telescopes are now entirely automatic. An international space station was designed which circles the Earth at an altitude of 280 miles, the distance from Paris to Montbéliard or Amsterdam to Cologne. Astronauts shut inside for months at a cost of millions of dollars trying to keep busy. You have to kill time in space. In Atacama in Chile, telescopes watch the sky. No need to send astronauts to grasp the beauty and complexity of space. There where man has no place. The heroes of the impossible should be worried. Houston, we have a problem. Oh yes, there is a problem. What if sending people into such an inhospitable universe was utterly pointless? Mm -hmm.